This is two or three of the BMS. Very brief video this one. The system's now charging at 150 milliamps, just in a balancing phase. And I'll turn the lights down in a moment so that you can see the LEDs and I'll explain what's going on. Now the camera's obviously trying to operate in a very low light mode here. And you can probably see now the LEDs flashing round the pack. These are the data communication LEDs. The LEDs that are permanently lit are the cell load balancing LEDs. And they indicate that the load on that particular cell is switched on. Now you should be able to see from the BMS screen, charge is about um, 150 milliamps. The, the resolution is a bit low for the uh, BMS. It can't quite resolve uh, the current to that level. The temperature is 15 degrees centigrade and the pack voltage is 176.6. That's working correctly. The average cell voltage at the minute is 3.53 and we have a, uh, another indication here, VD, that actually means the voltage difference and the maximum difference between the cells at the moment is 280 millivolts and that's quite a lot but this is the first time that I've had a balancing phase on the entire pack so some of the cells have got to be pulled into line. I intend to leave it going um, as long as possible, in fact probably overnight just to see how it's getting on by the morning. I've replaced the relay which failed in the uh, charger circuit as a, an underspec eBay bargain relay, so I should have known better than that. So we've now got a decent Farnell relay, and that will cut out the charger as soon as any cell reaches the absolute maximum permitted voltage, which in the uh, current setup is just over 3.75 volts. Now I think that's given you enough of an indication of what's happening, so I'll try and upload this and see how we get on.